Hello peeps, I'm Manny Load here. And on Father's Day, I hope you're having a pleasant day, or I hope a lot of you fathers have got a chance to see your child today. I hope you really have. And if you haven't, my heart is with you. And I suppose, and I suppose sorry, I suppose a lot of men out there also have their hearts with you. So on that note, I just wanted to talk about us men who haven't had children. And we've found the manosphere before we've had children. And I'm not saying I'm some uh, maverick, because I'm not. I'm only, look I'm only here because I had lucky fate. Fate has been lucky to, for, for my bad decisions at least three times. So, you know, if one of those, all it takes is one of them to go the other way, and I would have been a father. So I'm not some maverick. But for some people here... <coughs> now, we're missing out on a lot of personal growth, and that maturity. And, um, you know, we can forfeit that with pets and animals and watching them grow as little young'uns and live with them through their life. And you can get some sort of resonance for what it is to be a father that way. But it's not like the real thing. I mean you can get the same oxytocins. But you don't you don't get the same maturity growth, you don't get the same satisfaction of watching your own product, of your own being and soul and spirit, you know. We don't get that influence in our lives, you know, watching this new life just spring up and all the inspiration that can give you every single day. We don't have that. And we have to find our own inspirations. And I've found mine in divine anger. And I try every second. So you know, my bad, not every second, because it's not that bad at all. But every now and again, it's hard to keep it divine. You know, because it's the nature of anger, man, it's volatile. Um, if you haven't got a stable foundation, which unfortunately I haven't, and a lot of people out there do not either. And a lot of people drive themselves to suicide. And I'm not suggesting anything. I'm not going anywhere, you know. I understand that every breath, and I think every man out there needs to understand every breath they take is a spit in the face of our enemies. They want us gone, so by being alive, and being a father as well, and children, and it's just experience that some of us are just not going to have to accept that we won't have and not through choice like Nikola Tesla where he, he intentionally pursued a hobby and avoided women because he, he found his maturity, his growth through divine measures you know through divinity, meditation and his hobbies and his passions that was enough for him so there is a small percentage out there but we have a natural um, instinct to reproduce. It's why we are here. You know, we're meant to have two kids per family at least. This is part of the depopulation, you know, there's going to be more and more, more, more of us out there, there's going to be impotent people out there, there are going to be people who've had the experiment who are not going to be able to uh, reproduce uh, as they did before. You know, there might be some implications, we do not know yet. We can only predict. And I have to pop to the shop before it closes. 
<laughs> so I've cut this a few minutes short and it's just a shame the opportunity of growth that a lot of us men are missing out on. It really is a huge potential of growth and influence on the future generations. And that's the plan. They want us out of that influence. Have a good Father's Day. A manly load. Over and out.